Hey friends, it's Deanna here today and I am coming today to sew one of our free patterns. Um, this pattern comes from Lowlands Kids and usually they just do kids patterns which are super cute but this is their first women's part pattern and it is amazing. So I saw it, I downloaded it, I cut my fabric out and I thought I don't know v-necks are usually so hard to make and I don't know if this is gonna turn out but it turned out perfection and I am so excited. I needed to share it with you all. Uh, I love the v-neck. It was super easy. I love the bagginess of it. I love the fit. This is a shirt I'm going to be living in like every day. So I went looking through my uh, fabric and tried to find fabric that I could make it with. And I found this blue um, and it is super cute. So I'm going to make another one. So, and they also have the kids pattern. So they have this in a kid's version. So I'm also going to be sewing up some for my son because he's going to love it just as much as I love it. I know it. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So I have cut up my pattern. Um, I measured myself and I cut the pattern, the size that I fit into. Um, this is a medium size. I love the way it fits. It's just baggy enough for me. Perfect. Um, so that's what I'm going with. That's what I went with. I think this pattern works best with uh, like uh, thin fabrics that have a lot of drape. It's just a really drapey fabric. So that's what I would stick with. I've stuck with like a rayon kind of spandex uh, fabric or a light cotton fabric. I did order some more um, lightweight um, organic cotton fabric. So I'm excited about that. Um, and I'll be trying that as well. But anyway, so, and if, also if you have questions about different fabrics and stuff and what's going to fit, you can check out their page and there's lots of people who have sewn it up that love it just as much as I do. And so there's different options of fabrics and stuff on there too, that you can check out. But okay. So I've got, this is my back and I'm laying it on my mat face up. And I'm grabbing my front and I'm going to lay it face down. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put these shoulders together, right sides together. Um, right at the shoulder seam. So I'm going to go ahead and put them at the shoulder seam. And then I'm going to sew them together. Shoulders are ready. And now we're going to go ahead and prep our v-neck color before we get started. What we're going to do first is we're gonna go ahead and grab our collar and we're gonna face it right sides together, right on top of each other at that V-neck right here that looks like a snake tongue, right here. And then we're gonna move over to our sewing machine and prep that before we put it together. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and go for our V-neck. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we got these right on top of each other and we're gonna go about, we're gonna go a quarter inch down from that uh, raw edge and we're gonna go down and then stop at, the, at that uh, right there at the middle and then go up, okay? And what I'm gonna do is you can either, what I've done this before is you can mark right here draw a line down that way you can see where that v is right here where that dot is right here or what i've done too is sometimes i'll start sewing right here and go up and then go back and start sewing right here and go up the other way and i like to do that because of the fact that um that makes it easier to sew sometimes when you start from this side the fabric will roll in and get tied in there and try to get stuck but when you start at the middle, you can maneuver it. The only thing about doing that is that you have to make sure that you give it enough overlap that it doesn't give you a little hole right there. So you wanna make sure that you start and stop pretty much in the same spot. So that can be a little bit more difficult. So it's up to you whichever way you think would be easiest for you. You're going a quarter inch down from the top and then I'm gonna go down one way. And then I'm gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side. And as you can't see right there, I basically kind of overlapped it enough that when I turn it, it won't open up on my v-neck right there. 
So if you need it to go back over it and do a back and forth right there, you can so it doesn't open up. Because that's what's going to become your V-neck. Ah, I missed that scene that uh being matching that stripe right there by like a little bit. I don't know. Most people would probably take it apart and redo that and say, you know, let me try it again so it'll be even. But you know how I am. I'm lazy. I just leave it. So, yeah, I'm leaving it. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our uh, ironing board and we're going to steam that seam allowance down on both sides of this V right here. Opening it, basically that seam right there and just steaming it open one side and then I'm doing the same for the other side and that makes that gives you a V neck uh, neck band. How awesome is that? Then I'm going to fold that neck band right down the middle, wrong sides together to create your neck band. So I'm gonna steam it down one side and then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Steam it down. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, quarter this neck band so that way it's ready for when I'm gonna put it on my uh, top. So what I do is I go from the center out to the other side and I like to actually uh, clip my quarters. So I'll use like my scissors and do a little notch right there. Not big enough that it's gonna cause any mayhem but it's small enough, but it's big enough that I'll see it when I'm sewing it. And then I'm gonna match up those seams, that middle to the middle, and then I'm gonna go to the sides. And there's my one quarter, and here's my other quarter. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look and see which side I like better. The overlapping of the lines right here and right here. I honestly feel like they're both pretty much the same. And I kind of actually like the effect that it does. Like if I do it on this way, it's only gonna be one line. But if I do it this way, there's like two lines. But I feel like when I eat it, I'm gonna eat that seam allowance right there. So it'll just be that right there. So do I want it higher or lower? Do we go with this one? Okay. So then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my top and open it up to where my V neck is right here. And I'm gonna put my right side right on top. So this will be one side is gonna go up, okay? And this is my right side of my neck band right here. My right side of my neck band is touching the right side of my top. And I'm gonna go, one side is gonna go up and I'm gonna sew at, at base at a quarter inch seam allowance, go down to that point right there. So I'm going to pin and I'll show you that when I go over to the sewing machine. And then when I get to this point, then I'm gonna turn my neck band and go over the other way and go up, also with a quarter inch. And then we'll kind of trim right here at the edge. So let me go over to the sewing machine and we'll do that there. All right, here we are. And don't let this part scare you, it really isn't that scary. I've got it pinned still, and I'm gonna go a quarter inch from the edge, and I'm going all the way down to that point right there stop right there at my point and then I'm gonna pivot or you can take it off <clears throat> and then go and and um, do it outside but I just I'm just gonna pivot right here and pin so I'm just matching those raw edges to the other side and going down the other way And then when I remove it and I open it up, it is right there. My V-neck is on. It's just basted, so don't pull it. I don't wanna 
mess it up because then I'm going to go over to my serger and actually sew it or with a zigzag stitch, actually sew it all on all the way around. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to pin that neckband. I already cut quarter my neckband, but I haven't quartered my bodice. So I'm going to grab my uh, seams. This is where these are my shoulder seams and I am going to uh, put them together. Boop. Put my shoulder seams together and I'm going to go towards the back. That's where my back spot is. And then I'm going to go and match that back notch with my V right here, the front. And I'm going to go to one side and clip. And then I'm going to go to the other side and clip. Okay. And then now I have my quarter points. I'm going to grab my neck band and I am going to right sides together. So the same side that's touching that V neck right there is going this way and pin where I have my marks right sides together pin right there and then my next quarter will be my back and then my other one my last quarter and now i'm going to go ahead and go over to my serger and sew it on. If you don't have a serger, you can do this on your zigzag stitch on your sewing machine and um, it will be just the same. So I'm gonna go over there and do that. All right, I forgot to tell you that you can go right here and trim that a little bit. Make sure that if you trim, you trim the back and you trim just a little bit on that V-neck. Don't trim enough to cut any of the, of the thread that you just um, cut right there because that's how that's what's holding it together right now. So we're gonna go starting at that v-neck I'm gonna go over here to where my uh, first point was and I'm gonna whoop. I Like to just get my needle in there. There we go That way it's holding it tight and I'm gonna pull right here and just even out those seams, those uh, raw edges, I'm sorry. And then we're gonna go ahead and mix up. And I'm going all the way around the whole band by pulling those quarter points, going to the next quarter point and just making sure that they're even with the top and the raw edge right here. going all the way around. When I come right here at the V-neck again, I'm just gonna finish off straight. Then I'll go back and thread that, that uh, uh, tail in, or when I top stitch, if I'm top stitching, I'll just catch it in my top stitching right there. And your V is complete. How easy was that? I'm gonna go steam it and it looks perfect. Honestly, that v-neck, so super easy to do. I'm gonna go back and steam it down so that it lays nice and flat. And what I like to do, actually, I'm gonna open it up, is steam it from the back because that way you can make sure that your seam is all going the same way. Here we go, all the way around. Okay, so now that that's top, top stitch, I mean not top stitch, you can go ahead and go top stitch right now if you want to go ahead and top stitch that, that uh, neck. And I've top stitched mine before. Um, I can, you can use a cover stitch or you can just use a, a zigzag stitch in your sewing machine or a double needle, either one is fine. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the sleeves. If you don't want to add sleeves, if you want sleeveless, you will do a, a whole inch seam allowance on the hem allowance is what it, the pattern gives you, but I'm going to do sleeves. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my sleeve and I'm going to mark, the way I like to mark my sleeve is I like to do a little notch also at the top of my sleeve. And then I'm going to put them right side of my sleeve. I mean of my shoulder to the right side of my sleeve and I'm gonna pin right here at the shoulders where my half point is and then I'm going down to one side matching those raw edges 
all the way down and I'm doing the same for the other side as well. And then I'll do the other sleeve as well. And then we'll just sew that straight on. It. Sleeves are on and what I like to do is I like to go ahead and steam those sleeves. That way my seams are all going the same way and it gives me a better look when I do that. It gives me not so uneven. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and hem those sleeves and they give you, like I said, a, a whole inch allowance. I like the fact that the uh, pattern piece, it kind of leads its way to the hem right here. It folds out so you kind of can see what a whole inch is. I don't mark my seam allowance. I just kind of go for it and hope for the best, especially when you have these little uh, kind of little outy thingies right here that kind of help you even it out. Eh, I don't even pin either. So I'm going to go ahead and steam and I mean, uh, hem my sleeves. Sleeves are hemmed. We're almost done. We're going to grab our pattern. We're going to our fabric. We're going to turn it right sides together and we're going to uh, pin those side seams. So we're going to match up that armpit seam together and go down right there and then make sure your sleeves are pinned together and so that they're flush at the sleeve and all the way down the side. And we're gonna do that for both sides and then we're gonna go over to our sewing machine or our serger um, and sew up those sides together. Let's sew those sides. Sides are sewn and all we've got left to do is hemming and tacking down this serger tail. So you can either do two things. You can either grab your serger tail and put it right over next to that sleeve and do a tack back and forth right here and catch that tail. What I like to do is I just put it right over my seam allowance and I do a zigzag stitch right over it and then and that's how I get it into the seam. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and hem and it will be a one inch hem allowance again and we'll be done with our beautiful v-neck. All right, we are all finished with our top. I will say I really enjoyed sewing this top up. I feel like the V-neck was super easy and every step of the way was just super fun. Um, I didn't have any issues at all with the pattern. I love the directions. I thought they did a good job with the directions, the instructions. I had no issues. You know, sometimes when you, I'm trying to steam it a little bit because it looks super wrinkled. Um, you know, sometimes you, when you're trying out a pattern and you don't know if you're going to like it or not, um, instructions can be a little bit messy, but these were really easy to understand and I loved everything about it. Um, I, I feel like the fit is pretty right on with what it's intended to be. It is intended to be a baggier, loose top. And so I feel like it's great. I love the sleeve length and everything. So I am a really, actually really, really happy with how it turned out. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be making a whole lot more of these. I think that they're better though with a, a, a thinner fabric. So I, that's why I'm using all these thin fabrics. I feel like it works out better that way. Um, so yeah. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know if you have any questions about anything that I did. The links to the link to the uh, pattern is going to be below in the information. So if you have if you want to go grab it, go ahead and grab it. They also have the kids version, which is super cute. I haven't made it yet, but that's next. Um, if you have any questions, please ask me. Please comment, like, share, subscribe if you haven't. I will have some more awesome free patterns coming up. So keep watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.